The events you are about to witness are real. They are actual moments captured on cameras. They are presented to you uncut and unedited. Some viewers may find some images disturbing. Viewer discretion advised. You know, my research is coming up with some really interesting people and history of this property, I tell you. Oh, don't do that again. You're just going to make yourself sick no, again. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Dave, I need that report. Oh, coming right up. Hey, whoa. Hey. Whoa. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh. Huh? Oh, hey. I told you never to come back in here, all right? That oyster uh, po' boy or whatever it was you made me last week had me on the crapper for six oh, days, yeah. all right? About crap my guts out. Understand? I, I do. It's not cool. Listen, just give me one second, okay? I don't do this for everybody. He's not welcome. Free. Gratis. Please. Really? On the house. It's the least I could do. Right? Well, well that's cool. my way of saying sorry to you. All right. Can I get a drink? You know what? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Sorry about the... No, it's cool. Fine. Cool. I get that report. Oh, sure. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Thanks, man. All right. We'll see you later. See you guys. Enjoy. All right. You know how hard it was for me to get rid of that sandwich? It's been on my car for like six months. You gave the man a sandwich that's six months old? You nearly killed him last week with a different yeah, sandwich. Oh, well, he didn't die that day. He'll be fine. Believe me, that is, that's small time compared to the last one. I think that's was a salted crab melt, I think. They don't sell. All right, well, we got to get going. All right. God, it's so great to have that off my rack. In the realm between the known and the unknown lies the world of spirits, demons, and the unexplained. For the denizens of Tinseltown, there's only one place they can turn. International Ghost Investigators, Hollywood Division. That's not mine. It's uh, my. It's a loner because uh, my mother's getting rims put on the other one, so they gave us this. It's okay. Well, this mini club, I tell you, it's so roomy inside. It's almost. It's like it's. It's like it's bigger inside than outside, kind of like the TARDIS. Hey, what? What's that all about? Why do you use? Why would you say that? The TARDIS Don't. from Doctor Who. And yes, a doctor did tell my mother that I was that when I was a kid. So I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that. Well, I was just talking about the TARDIS. For the last time, the doctors tested me to see if I was TARDIS, and I am not. It came out that I am dull, OK? They thought maybe for a second I was not that sharp. Turns out I'm dull. Again, TARDIS is just the ship, Doctor Who. That's the ship he has, the TARDIS. OK, well, we're here for Jim Rash. Uh, Love Jim Rash. Actor. Uh, you may remember him from uh, Reno 911 appearances or no. uh, Help Me or mm -mm. Uh, uh, Community. He's on Community. He's great on Community. Well, that's that a great is. show. It's good. Yeah. Six seasons in a movie. Come on. No? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, he also uh, won an, he's an award winning screenwriter. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. The Descendants. He, he, won, he won the Academy Award. No. Anyway, yep. he's called us in because uh -huh. he's had trouble with seeing. Uh, ghostly or or uh, shadowy figures in the house, and he called us to check out and investigate it. <laughs> well, you know, come on. Well, yeah, ninety-nine <laughs> percent of the time these things can be logically yeah. explained. It's probably anyway, like uh, floaters, you know, if you're seeing stuff. I mean, could that's very well be, but yeah. we're definitely going to investigate yeah. and check it out. Actually, you know what? He also won the Central Ohio uh, National Film Critics Award, which is actually my favorite. Oh, actually, I was just nominated. Oh. I did not win. <laughs> Jim, uh, Dave. Yes. Wow. Oh, hi, Dave. Hey, nice, Paul. Hi. Hi, hi. hi Paul. Yeah. We're right. IGI Hollywood. Were you yes. Yeah. No, I saw you drive up. You know, he told me you were coming. He did. He tells me everything. 
Oh, okay. Huh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's a little camera in his eyes. So oh! I know. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was freaky. Yeah, that's pretty freaky. Yeah, yeah, no, so. what's freaking me out is what's inside. So. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Check it out? Yes, please, after oh, you. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, my God, that's cool. It's just like a TARDIS. That word is very hurtful. Oh, is it? I had a good first impression of Dave. Paul, not so much. I think the minute he said that I could no longer say the word TARDIS sort of put me off in a, in a weird beginning of the day. Um, just because I don't like to be told what words I can and can't say, you know, so. So it turns out he was tested and yeah. he, he's just dull. Yeah, I got a card now that gets me half off of Coco's. Jim? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Hi. what just... Blew. Yeah, That's, yeah, uh... what took you so long, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. yeah. It's my property. I know how to get places fast. Great. Uh, cool. It's a very nice property. Thank you very much. Say, the piano's yes. lovely. Oh, But I you. expected, like, an upright, an old honky-tonk piano. I know, right? It's pretty surprising. Yeah, yeah that's exactly why, because I love the shape and size of a grand piano, but I love the sound of a good honky-tonk. So I had this one just ripped out and turned into a honky-tonk piano. Oh, huh. wow. Yeah, the guy I bought it from actually said I just made it completely worthless, and I told him to f off. Hmm? Because I yes. can. Oh, you can? That's sort of my philosophy in life. You tell me what I can do, I tell you to f off. It's kind of my spiritual side, so. That's, sure. Yeah, that's. Oh, wow. And people always ask me, is that the right attitude to tell people to f off when they say something you don't uh, agree with? And then I say to them, f off. We have a lovely home. Uh, Thank you. Thank really you. interesting. Yes, I have nice. uh, a lot of money and great taste, so. Right. Yeah, you said that. Said that before. Mm -hmm. I like to repeat things, and oh. again, f off. Got it. Oh, I'm kidding. Let's go. We just it's met. Wrong? I know. It's okay. I know. It's okay. It's okay. I shouldn't say that. No, you are yeah, guest. I know. That's. that's it people tell again? That's my yeah, no, I'm, used, I'm so used to that. It's not even funny. Uh, that does not surprise yeah. me. My mom's always telling me to f off. It's like you know, I'm like, hey, mom, can I get you some orange juice? She's like, f off. Or uh, mom, can I go to the store for you? F off. So she's been doing it so long. I just know that means I love you. What happens when she says I love you? I don't know. She's never said it. So anyway, you said that you noticed like sh figures, shapes, yes, things figures, moving, images, and corners. people. I'll be just doing anything in the house, and all of a sudden, like like a peripheral in the corner of my eye, whew, mm. as if someone just walked right past me or just in the corner. And so I look, nothing there. Over here, nothing there. All day. Mm. Do do you drink at all? I no, think? I gave it up. I gave it up last week. Do you drink like a lot? He just said he. I gave it up oh. last week, a week ago. Right. Oh. I would have said yes to yours, but I say no to yours right. because I stopped drinking. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Uh, really good. Do you have any pets? Uh, not that I know of. Right. Headaches? No. Oh, headaches? No. It could be. Headache free. Stroke sometimes is a possibility. Do you ever smell burnt toast before you see mm -hmm. these images? No, unless I happen to be making burnt breakfast toast. and okay. burnt. Why don't you show us where some of these things occurred and yes. we'll continue? I want to show you the whole property. A couple places I can't show you, like the old well, uh -huh. because something happened there that I can't talk about. Uh, I'm gonna have to say I cannot talk about the old well. I want to show you the kitchen first, but why go the long way when you can take the secret passage? What? Oh, you know what? what yeah, happened? I had that disconnected oh. after uh, after the fire. It was one of those great uh, games of running charades that just went awry. And what was weird was the category was Towering Inferno. So as they were guessing Towering Inferno, the secret passage caught on fire. So I always thought, I know it's sad that these people got caught in that secret passage and died, but I thought, wow, so meta. Okay. <laughs> I suppose, you yeah. first, you're oh, the guest. Okay, okay. okay. this way. Uh, he's a, you're a very good piano, piano player. player. I mean, you guys are slow. <laughs> now this room, this is where the magic happens. Oh, so this is like where you have sex. Why would you say that? Because you just said this is where the magic happens. No, this is where I make my simple rabbit paella. Why would I ever have sex where I eat? This is kitchen. Oh, OK. Anyway, this is where I was making my simple rabbit paella. Valencia, not Castilian. I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> it's famous. Yeah. Everyone loves to eat it. Uh, yeah, the paella is a family recipe. Fun fact, it was never meant to have rabbit in it until our rabbit died. And we were like, let's try it. Anyway, I was just about to add my Punjabi saffron, but I couldn't find it. I looked everywhere. I mean, oh I looked God. in the cupboards. I looked in the drawers, then back to the cupboards, then back to the drawers, just to make sure. And then when I turned around, my hand-forged paella pan, missing. 
completely out of thin air, just gone. Wow. Just wow. like that. Wow. So I had to abandon my idea for paella, and I ordered a pizza. I knew I wanted pepperoni and red peppers and green peppers and onions. I knew that I wanted mozzarella cheese, and I knew I wanted two other cheese. Is this important to the story? Oh, yeah, no, 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 believe me. This led up to something that just freaked me out, oh, okay? okay? Sorry. Yeah, so, yeah. the one thing I knew is I wanted an everything pizza, but I wanted to make sure I went over everything with her to make sure I got it all. So, I knew I wanted pepperoni, red peppers, green peppers, onions, mozzarella. I knew I wanted three cheeses, but I couldn't think of the other two names, so I said, just surprise me. I want Italian sausage, and I want mushroom. I want stuffed crust pizza. I told her to throw in an order of mojo potatoes and cinnamon sticks for dessert. And then she said something that blew my mind. Oh, what? She says, did you know that tonight only we are having, for anyone who orders an everything pizza, free Buffalo wings, 12 with your order. Wow. And I, said, I did not know that. I did not know that. But absolutely, I would love to have those 12 buffalo wings thrown into my order. Of Who course. Want that? that would never have happened if that whatever it was hadn't grabbed that paella pan. Wow. I would have never found out about that special. And that freaked me out. That's amazing. I'm freaked out. Yeah, you should be. That's amazing. Wow. Well, we'll definitely yeah. we'll definitely investigate. Something's this happening Something's in this room. Shit. Something definitely. crazy. Okay. Feel it. Yeah. So I want to show you the rest of the house. So you first. Oh. Okay. All right. And if you wouldn't mind sharing the name of that pizza place. Oh yeah. I tell you, it's uh, it's on the corner of Third. Oh. Oh yeah. Well, well I mean, I think that uh, any paella is, is very nice. good. And this is where the magic happens. Hmm. Oh, you mean this is where, like, where you have sex? Okay. Stop oh. guessing that. If I want you to know which room I have sex in, I'll let you know. And where I come from, this is where the magic happens, means this is where I do some of my hobbies, or this is where I do things that I enjoy, not this is where I have sex. So I don't know what Paul's background is, but I know that this is where the magic happens means, oh great, I can't wait to hear what interesting thing they do in this room. What I meant was this is where the magic of my homemade potpourri happens. Yeah, I make it little individuals for all my friends. Oh, you know, fair. I sort of base it on their personalities. Mm. Huh. Oh, well, what would you make for me? Uh, probably just like a bag of pine cones. Unscented. I know I said pine cone unscented, but I actually wanted to say bag of <laughs> So this is where I was sitting just the other day making my homemade famous potpourri for some celebrity fans, sometimes for regular folks, this time for celebrity fans. Uh, and I was working and all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I see what looks like an image just breeze past me, whoosh. And I look, nothing. Instantly on this side, whoosh. I look over here, nothing. Then I go back to work, everything's fine. Five or 10 minutes, nothing. Then all of a sudden, four in a row, whoosh, 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 whoosh. I think we have the general idea. What... It all leads up to this. Okay. I wanna hear the end. The most terrifying moment. So at this point, I'm just rattled, completely rattled, right. and I can barely finish off this potpourri for a celebrity fan. I pick up the satchel, I tie it, I just finish, and then whoosh, one fast one. Look, nothing. The end? Okay, so again, that yes. was the last okay. one. That was the last I mean, one. it built to that. I mean, at that, no, point, I was at that point, I was like, you know, not nervous, but then by then, I was like, something's wrong. That was yeah. over 19 of those, I counted. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. I just have to ask, who was the potpourri for? Uh-oh, I knew this would come up. Yes. Um, was it a man or a woman? Male or female? Yeah. Actually, both. <sighs> Joel McHale. Joel McHale. I knew you'd uh, get it. Yeah. He has a penis, but he's a bit of a vagina. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that because I'm friends. <laughs> you shouldn't we, laugh we about should, it. We should not friends, no, so don't laugh I'm about not, it. Because I'm not. Don't you yeah. ever laugh about okay, Joel McHale. that's cool. Okay. He is not your friend. Got it. I don't know what this guy's deal with Joel McHale was. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's pretty specific. You shouldn't talk about Joel McHale. Well, I know he was. Because he's his friend. You don't even know him. Well, I know I don't know him, but I watch him on oh. TV and I. So you make the uh, the uh, I don't, potpourris I'm, uh, to individual people? That's Is pretty that... cool. Now this part's really going to freak you out. Uh, I was over here on my rocks, which I'm I'm often do, and I'm tuning my lute. And I was tuning my lute, and I heard this child's laugh, which at first, I mean, it's one it's of the most, most beautiful sound. One of the beautiful sounds you want to hear, but then all of a sudden. Uh, it came over me that, wait, wait a minute, I don't have children. So it was very unwelcome and unsettling. And I looked, nothing, again. So I went back to uh, tuning my lute, and then I heard the child's laugh again. This time I was not going to be fooled. I've already looked so many times to see that there's nothing there. So I pulled out my hand mirror, 
which I always carry on me to make sure that I'm currently breathing and alive. And in the mirror, I saw, clear as day, a shadowy figure. Yeah, I've always carried a hand mirror. I mean, obviously, uh, not just to make sure I'm still alive. You can uh, let a friend know they don't look good that day. Um, cocaine. Uh, and then sometimes I've seen ships coming at me so fast when I'm standing on the shoreline, I used it to reflect it and let them know that the shore is coming up on them fast. Clear as day, I saw a shadowy figure move. So you're saying that, that the shadowy figure was clear as day, or as clear as day you could see that okay, it was Okay, I can see shadowy... where you're missing. No, it, as shadowy figures go, uh -huh. it was very shadowy okay. and very blurry, okay. but I saw it as clear as day. Well, this sounds like we're dealing with shadow people. Oh. Hmm. oh. Those are entities. Makes sense people. that it was a shadowy figure. Exactly. It's a shadow person. Or a floater. They... Could be a floater. Okay, you need to let go of the floater thing, because I can tell you right now, without a doubt, that I have 20-20 vision corrected. Yeah, my, me too. My glasses are 20-20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like to make a floater out of Paul in a big lake, just him floating, dead. And then he says, you got floaters? Yeah, I got one right over there in that lake, dead. Listen, uh, shadow people, they're thought to be either spirits or ghosts okay. or possibly aliens. Oh. Some people have a theory that shadow people are ghosts or spirits or possibly aliens. <laughs> but <laughs> we know that's not true because the aliens don't exist. They do not exist. So anyway, we will be investigating. You won't even know we're here. Okay. And Great. Uh, you can go along. Okay. I have day. a lot of things to do anyway around sure. the property, uh, which is expansive. So I will be doing those things and just uh, holler if you need me. Great. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go by the horse stable. It's the one place you should not go. And I okay. cannot explain why. I don't. All right. I said don't go towards the horse stable. Sorry. Oh. We go. I don't. I guess we go up to this way. At that point, we began our investigation. All right. I'm setting up these very sensitive cameras. Uh, they're set up to uh, pick up uh, motion, light, or EMPs, and we should be able to catch these shadow people or whatever it might be uh, with one of these. So, there we go. And I'm using a uh, a type of camera that captures motion and also sound and uh, kind of captures it on it's, it's the... It's called a video camera. You probably have one at home. Yeah, that, and that's what I'm using. Did you feel something? Just now? Yes. No, I didn't feel anything. Because I didn't either. Oh, you're just checking? Yeah, I was just checking with you. Okay, all right. That was freaky, man. I totally felt nothing in that moment. Me too. I mean, it was pretty amazing how much we didn't feel. I mean, nothing. Well, these ultra high speed cameras should catch any paranormal activities. Here we go. This should pick up uh, some things too, probably, right? Uh, yeah, images, sound. What? Hey, did you feel something? Just now? Did yeah. you did you just feel something? No. Did you? No, I did not feel anything. It's good to check though. Oh yeah, of course. Did you get any chip? Are you taking temperature readings at all? No. We should probably do that. So again, we felt nothing? Nothing. So we decided to split up and explore the property. Separately. Well, I did say split up. Yeah, and I said separately. We split up separately. Oh, if I can just get that. That's what happened. Got my arm stuck in a rock. Just like that James Franco movie. Spring Breakers? Yeah. Can you hand me the machete? Sure. Don't there cut you yourself. Don't I'll cut try. yourself. Yep. It's very sharp. All right. OK. Actually, can you take some like before and after pics? Oh, sure. So this would be like me thinking of doing it. Hmm. That's good. And then uh, just get a me middle one. OK. Thanks. I'm thinking wait, wait, maybe wait, wait, underneath wait. or... Yeah, go, go, I would go armpit, uh -huh. like, like a chicken, like a chicken bone. Wing, right? Yeah, like yeah. right in the, get in the joint there. Ah, okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Have you thought about just trying to pull your arm back the way it went in instead of trying to go through the rock? Pull it back. Oh. That worked. Okay. What? Brought this machete up here for nothing. Yeah, sorry. All right. 
oh my god, I was in there for like 45 minutes before you showed up, you know? I think it's actually closer to five. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, to move the investigation along, we set up cameras throughout the property. All right, well, uh, we finished our investigation. Hi. Yeah. And I've got to say, um, we haven't watched the footage yet. We'll be watching that with you. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I hope we caught something. We, we did some research. I was able to find out that you were born with a parasitic twin. What? Yeah. Growing out of your chest. Yeah. Now, it died soon after childbirth. And uh, we believe that the ghost of that twin may be what's causing oh. these occurrences to happen. We believe that is the spirit that is haunting this That house. makes so much sense. Really? Yes. I, that's so much clarity for me, because when I was a kid, I remember my mother, whenever she'd get very upset with me, she would say, I drowned the wrong twin. She would just yell at me and go, I drowned the wrong twin. Wow. And I just thought, well, that's just a, you know, a classic Southern mother. We know? believe this may show us what you've been seeing. Ooh. So here we go. Bring on the mm -hmm. shadow people. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's me again. There's a lot of me on this. Oh, well, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Oh, I had fun in that room. <laughs> yeah. Um... It was hard finding this camera. You guys hit it well, but I found it. Oh, you were there, too. Yeah. Oh, the camera's around? I had fun. That was my favorite part of the day. My least favorite part of the day, Paul. You know, and now that I think about it, I remember when my mother would get upset at me, she would actually say, I wrapped the wrong twin in a caftan and drowned it in the river. That's what she would say. I wrapped the wrong twin in a caftan and drowned in the river. And uh, I have to say, well, I agree with her. I, yeah. Uh, why don't you keep the yeah, laptop? Yeah, hey, oh, you know, so nice uh, of you. It was Thank really you. nice meeting you, and we gotta get out of here. Oh, I'll see you soon. I'm making your potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'd see you. <laughs> mm, who's ready for paella? <laughs> I'm almost finished. You guys love to run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. Hi, Jim Rash. Hey, you must be, uh... Oh, okay. I'm so sorry that uh, I'm late. I got stuck on set, and I tried your phones, but I don't need any reception up here. But I, I would love to show you my... Are you... You're not even coming come in the house? Are you serious? It's Los Angeles. Everybody's late. Were you in my house? Why is my door... No, they didn't do a good job. They just let, I don't even understand why I'm being interviewed for this. Why would I hire two people who didn't do anything, who just ran away because I was late? <laughs> so in conclusion, apparently we spent the whole day uh, with the ghost of Jim Rash's uh, parasitic twin. Whole day, entire day, wow. parasitic twin. I gotta admit though, very interesting. Yeah, nice dresser. Yeah, I've never seen that a guy wear that many caftans. I know, wear them that well. You live and learn. <laughs> I thought it was pretty nice. Well, I got a laptop. They left the laptop in my living room with like creepy images they guessed they had made of me through CGI, like in a caftan, like doing fed up. Shit. So I don't know how they got my likeness, but uh, that's gonna be something I'm suing. Oh, by the way, I, I, I mean, saying it's a laptop is offensive. This MacBook Pro, I think, was like three versions of Go. So thanks for that. And uh, by the way, technology keeps moving. So why don't you try to catch up to it? I don't even know why the f I'm si agreed to sit in a chair and be interviewed for a show that I wasn't even a part of. I'm sorry, it, am I even going to get my money back? I mean, I should. You know what? You know what? Like, like I always say, f off. And I'm keeping the mic. <laughs>